Uh, good morning, Uncle Lou here. Yeah. Uh, that's right, it's me, Uncle Lou, live on YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, answer video to the to the Q and A's um, that I did. Uh, I don't know a week or so ago. I meant to do this video a couple of days ago, and to be honest with you, I just forgot. So I don't know. With all the excitement of the last few days, it just slipped my mind. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna do it now. Uh, so I'll read through all the questions. I'll do my best to answer them all um, to the best of my ability. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, a disclaimer here, but. Uh, some of you people are some sick, sick individuals, which I'm sure you already know that. Uh, you know who you are, too. Uh, but, yeah, some of you people are pretty sick. But, like I said, I will do my best to answer the questions to the best of my ability. Uh, oh, you guys like my new hat here. All you haters uh, like my hat. That's right. That's my new master's hat. Uh, yep. I got that yesterday. Uh, good morning. Uh, but let's get started with the questions here. I'm just going to go in whatever. I have the laptop pulled up here uh, and... and and the comments pulled up underneath the video, so I'm just going to go in whatever order they're in, uh, and we'll uh, we'll see. It's probably going to be a pretty long video because um, there was quite a few questions, but I'll try to make it as quick as I can. Um, also, if I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry, uh, but you can't really get mad at somebody for mispronouncing your name um, whenever you've spent your whole life trying to figure out ways to spell it wrong. So, uh, but in, but anyway, uh, question number one. Uh, from Roy Ramsdell, who I guess is a Boston Bruins fan. I guess that's what that avatar is. I don't know. I'm not a hockey fan, but I think that's Boston Bruins. He says, okay, Uncle Lou, let's see how good your knowledge of Georgia Bulldog football is. Where did Vince Dooley go to college, and what position did he play on the football team? No looking on the Internet, please. Uh, I did not have to look this up. This is pretty common knowledge amongst Georgia fans. Uh, almost everybody knows this story, but, of course, Vince Dooley, longtime coach at UGA, probably the most uh, famous and the best coach we've ever had, won a national title, coached Herschel Walker. Um, most Georgia fan, All Georgia fans are familiar with Vince Dooley. Uh, most all SEC fans are familiar with Vince Dooley. But, uh, of course, he went to Auburn and played football at Auburn, uh, and I, I'm 99% sure he played quarterback. I'm not a, I, I'm, there's a chance I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he played quarterback. I know he played for Auburn. Um, this story gets brought up all the time because, of course, he's our one of our better-known coaches, and he played at Auburn. One of Auburn's better-known coaches, Pat Dye, uh, attended and played at the University of Georgia. So Vince Dooley uh, attended Auburn and played football there, then was the head coach at Georgia. Pat Dye attended and played football at Georgia and then became head coach at Auburn. Um, out of the position of uh, Pat Dye, I'm not sure what position he played. I think it was defensive line or linebacker, but I'm less sure about that than I am that Vince Dooley played quarterback. Uh, but good question, sir. And no, I didn't cheat. I didn't have to look that up. I'm not bragging about that. That's really something every Georgia fan knows. Uh, so uh, let's see. Next on the list here, Swaggy P. Or, or I'm sorry, Swaggy, Swaggy P. P. Uh, he has half of his name in quotations. That's the important part, uh, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but he wants to know, how come I always say good morning? Uh, sir, I... Uh, I, I get asked this constantly all the time. I don't really see what the big deal is. I, I don't really see why it seems to bother people so much that I say good morning, um, regardless of the time of day it is. But for whatever reason, it does seem to irritate people, um, which you can make of that what you will. Uh, of course, morning, uh, as far as me saying good morning, uh, morning is a reflection of... Uh, you know, location and perspective, really. Uh, so, you know, if I say good morning and you want to argue with me in the comments that it's good afternoon or good evening or good night, that's fine. But if I say good morning, it's good morning, period. It, it, morning, is a, morning is a product of location and perspective. Um, so thank you for your question and good morning. Uh, BVD, Big Vol Daddy, this is a long one. Uh, if you were to take two-thirds of a Chevy Camaro and piece it together with two-thirds of a Bigfoot, then place two orange peels firmly in the vagina of the great woolly abominable snow chupacabra, what would the ratio of feces to lemon juice be as it pertains to the atomization of Simon Cowell's chest hair? Please don't cheat and Google the answer, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not going to lie, BVD. I did have to Google a picture of Simon Cowell's chest hair. I was unfamiliar with uh, the amount of chest hair he had or, uh, you know, the, the 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 content and makeup of his chest hair. I knew nothing about it, so I did have to Google an image of Simon Cowell's chest hair. Uh, that being said, the answer to your question is seven to two, sir. Uh, so thank you. Uh, then he wants to know, on a serious note, how many times per day do you masturbate? EDP wanted me to ask. Um, Uncle Lou doesn't answer proxy questions, sir. 
uh, and BVD, you can Google um, what proxy means um, if you need to. A big country mudcat wants to know who's your favorite wrestler. Uh, I, I'm I'm assuming he means right now. Um, now, you know, people want to make fun of me or, or whatever on here and on Twitter that I watch wrestling. That's fine. Doesn't bother me. You, know, you make fun of me about whatever you want. Really doesn't matter to me. Uh, but if you want to know why I watch wrestling, I'll be happy to tell you. Of course, I, I watched wrestling when I was a kid. Uh, and then I watched it uh, also for a while in college, too. This was in the late 90s and early 2000s, back when the NWO was around and WCW and, and WWF were going head-to-head -head on Monday nights, the Monday Night Wars. Uh, and then I quit watching it for, I don't know, 15 or 16 years. Well, this past December, WWE was coming to Augusta for a show. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even know they were coming here because I didn't keep up with it. Like I said, it had been 15 years since I watched it. But Lou Jr. wanted to go. I guess some of his friends from school were talking about it, and he came home and asked me if we could go. So I bought tickets and took him to the WWE show here in town in December. Uh, he loved it, and he fell in love with it. He's been, that's all he cares about lately. Uh, for Christmas, all he wanted was wrestling figures and the little rings and all that kind of stuff. So he's all into it. So I took him to the show, and I started watching it a little bit too, uh, you know, to have something to talk with him about. Um, something for us to do together. So, if me ha if if me watching wrestling to get a little bit of father son time with Lou Jr. is something that bothers you, well, so be it. Uh, that's a you problem. It doesn't bother Uncle Lou. Uh, but please keep telling me how stupid it is that I watch wrestling. And also, if you could please keep telling me over and over again that it's fake, uh, I would also appreciate that. Um, because maybe one of these days it'll sink into me. I don't know. Uh, so please keep telling me how dumb it is that I watch wrestling, and please keep telling me it's fake over and over and over and over and over again like you've been doing. It's amazing. So thank you. Uh, oh, then my favorite wrestler uh, is Dean Ambrose right now. He's a, if, uh, you know, if you watch wrestling, you know who he is. If you don't, he's sort of just this crazy, his gimmick or whatever is that he's just a lunatic. He'll do anything, say anything. He's, you know, just kind of crazy. And I don't know, he's not, I don't think he's one of the more popular wrestlers or whatever right now with kids or whatever, but I don't know. He's Uncle Lou's favorite right now. Uh, Bama Fan Man says, how do you feel knowing October 3rd is coming and Bama is going to spank that ass? I'm going to take that question in two parts, sir. How do I feel knowing October 3rd is coming? I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be, uh, I think, one of the biggest games of the entire college football season this year, not just for Georgia, um, but for college football as a whole. Uh, and as far as Bama spanking that ass, obviously I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Georgia tends to play Bama pretty good. That game we played in 2012 in the SEC championship game, uh, of course Georgia lost that game. Uh, but that's still one of the best college football games I've ever seen. Of course, it came down to the very end. We we ran out of time on about the six-yard line at the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, we were down by four, uh, so we needed a touchdown to go ahead, and we just ran out of time. But that was one of the greatest games I've watched, even though Georgia lost. So I am looking forward to that game. It's going to be a good one. Uh, it's in Athens, so i got to give Georgia the edge right now. Uh, but too early to make any type of predictions, really, or anything like that. That's a long time away have to wait and see what the team looks like when that time comes around. But thanks for your question, sir. Uh, Chris Crap, uh, good morning, Mr. Crap, uh, wants to know what do you what do you think is going to happen in the with the U.S. and Russia being that we sent troops to the U uh, Ukraine border? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing's going to happen. That's a pissing contest. That's it. Uh, you go back and look at the Cold War. It was a 40-year pissing contest. That's all this is going to be, sir. We're not going to war with Russia. We're not invading Russia. We're not dropping bombs on Russia. We're not interfering with Russia. We're doing nothing militarily to Russia. It's not going to happen. Uh, Russia is not some dirt-stained country in the middle of the Middle East somewhere that can't defend itself. Russia is a real country with a real army uh, and with real capabilities of not only defending itself, but uh, launching uh, long-range attacks against the United States. We're not messing with Russia, sir. Now, there's only a handful of countries that can say that, Russia and China being the main two. Uh, but Russia and China can do pretty much whatever they want. Uh, the USA will talk the tough talk. Uh, but as far as militarily, we're not doing anything to Russia, uh, sir, uh, which is good. Uh, D-Town says, would you, AD, uh, would you ATM your wife? No, I would not. Um, now, what, whatever anyone else does is fine. Uh, Uncle Lou has no problem with what goes on in, in other people's bedrooms. That's their business. So I'm, it's not that I'm saying it's wrong to do or that I look down on it. Uh, it's just me personally. I don't think I could do that to my wife. Uh, Knight of the Shield. Okay, brother. Your all-time favorite wrestler and why? 
Uh, my all-time favorite wrestler is probably Ric Flair. Uh, of course, when I was a kid in the 80s, it was Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, uh, you know, all, Ultimate Warrior, all those guys, which all those guys were great. You know, I that was the heyday of wrestling, in my opinion. I, I love all those guys. Um, but for whatever reason, I, I, I seem to remember watching NWA and WCW back then more than I watched WWF. I don't know why that is, if it was on TV more down here or, or what, I'm not sure. And, of course, Ric Flair was uh, on that promotion back then, uh, part of the Four Horsemen, uh, which I was a big fan of. So I, I it, it's really hard for me to pick one all time, but if I... If I had to right now, I'd probably say Ric Flair. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, you're a scholar and a gentleman, do you? Uh, so thank you. Pistol 213 wants to know if I'm a Miami Heat fan. I have no clue where this question comes from. Uh, I'm not even a basketball fan. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm, so, uh, I'm so not a Miami Heat fan that I wasn't even a pretend Miami Heat fan when they had LeBron James like 90% of the Miami Heat fans were. I wasn't even a fan then, uh, so definitely not a fan now. I, with basketball, sir, I'll be honest, uh, with college and the NBA, I, I barely even keep up with it during the regular season. Unless they talk about it on Sports Center, uh, then I, I, I really don't know. And that, that's pr pretty much the extent of my basketball knowledge is whatever I hear on Sports Center during basketball season until the playoffs roll around. I will watch NBA playoffs. I do watch March Madness, the college, the NCAA tournament, j just because it's exciting to watch. But I don't really keep up with basketball that much, and no, I'm not a Miami Heat fan. Uh, I live in Georgia, and I'm not even an Atlanta Hawks fan, not even this year um, when they're really good, I guess, from what I hear. I'm not even – I just – don't keep up with it. I'll, I'll I'll start paying attention when the playoffs roll around, whenever that is, June, I think. I don't really don't even know. Uh, Florida Heat 420, how many points do you think that Florida will beat the Puppy Dogs by this football season? I'll give you this as a reminder before you say Florida has no chance, 38-20. to 20. Uh, Of course, 38-20, to 20, that was the score in last year's game. Florida beat us 38-20. to 20. Georgia was a big favorite going into that game and never even got off the bus, really got mollywopped for the entire game. It was one of the one of the most embarrassing losses um, that Georgia's taken probably in the last 10 to 15 years. It, it was just an awful showing. Um, but, um, again, it's, it's, it's so early on to start making individual game predictions. But, I mean, I'm a Georgia fan, so obviously I think Georgia's going to win this game. I want them to win this game. Uh, Florida has a new head coach and no offensive talent. Um, now, they may have some offensive talent, and Will Muschamp just w wasn't able to utilize it. I don't know. Um, so maybe McElwain will come in there and be able to take those same players and actually get them to get first downs and points. I don't know. Muschamp wasn't able to do it. So, uh, But we play y'all uh, pretty late in the year. Play y'all on Halloween this year, I believe it is. Um, it's always around Halloween, and I think this year Halloween's on a Saturday. So I think we play y'all on Halloween. So we'll have you know a couple of months of games under our belt by the time we play you as we all you know we'll know a lot more then uh, but good question uh, Matthew Quiles do you think Jacob Eason will win UGA National Championship Jacob Eason is a high school junior right now he'll be a senior next year he's rated the number one prospect in America by every recruiting service on earth um, so we have to wait another year to get him he's already committed to UGA but I've been a college football fan long enough to know that you can't put a whole lot of stock in what these um, high school kids say, especially when they're juniors. He's under no legal or moral obligation to attend UGA just because he says that's what he's going to do. Uh, it, it's hard to really believe any of this stuff until they sign on the dotted line in February of their senior year of high school. I really hope we get this guy, and from everything he's said, he's not wavering, he's not changing his mind, he's not interested in even looking at any other schools. He's 100% committed to UGA, which is great if that's true and pans out. As far as do I think he'll win us a national championship, one player doesn't win a national championship, even quarterback. you got to have some pieces around him. you got to have a little bit of luck, and you have to avoid injury uh, all in the same season, which is very hard to do. Um, it, it, you know, George has been close for what seems like forever now. Uh, I would probably say, and I don't know whether this is a compliment or an insult to UGA, but I, I would probably say that UGA has been the best football team over the past 15 years to not win a national title. Um, they've been close on a couple of different occasions and fallen short. Um, and Jacob Eason would definitely be a, a great piece to the puzzle. Uh, he's 6'6", mobile, a rocket arm, accurate. 
Uh, he's, they say he's the best um, prospect since Andrew Luck. So it's very exciting to have somebody like that looking to come to UGA. But like I said, that's a, you know, a year away before he would even potentially sign with UGA. So it's a sort of a wait and see thing there. Uh, Animated says, did you model your online persona after Tom Terrific? Uh, no, I don't even know who that is, so no. Uh, Ice Up Sun says, what's your deal with South Carolina, LOL? Well, just go to YouTube and type in Uncle Lou, South Carolina. I've done several videos on this topic, and if I start answering this question now, the, the a 30-second answer is going to turn into 5, 10, or 15 minutes, because once I get going on Carolina, I just can't stop. They're an embarrassment to organize sport everywhere. Uh, not just football, they're just a complete embarrassment of a program. Uh, it took them over 100 years to win a bowl game. They've never won an SEC title. They've never won a national title. Uh, they won the SEC East one time, and then they took the worst beating in the history of the SEC championship game. They've had two of the top coaches of all time in Lou Holtz and Steve Spurrier, and they've done absolutely nothing with it at all. Um, Columbia is a giant trailer park. It's the worst capital city of any state in America. Uh, the entire state of South Carolina, with the exception of, of probably Charleston and Hilton Head, is a co complete waste of land. Stinks over there. Um, I live on the border of South Carolina, which I know that's my own fault, but that you know it is what it is. To me, South Carolina is the biggest rivalry game of the year every year with UGA. You ask 100 Georgia fans to name their top rivals, not very many are going to say South Carolina. You're usually going to hear answers like Georgia Tech or Florida uh, or even Auburn, but for Uncle Lou at South Carolina, I can't stand them. Uh, and it's not just a football program, it's the state as a whole. Uh, but I, let me move on, because like I said, I, I could stay on that question all day. Uh, Duke Bothers has a trick question for Uncle Lou. I'm not falling for it, sir, just so you know. But he wants to know who landed on the moon first. Of course, that's a trick question. No one's ever landed on the moon. Uh, nice try. Uh, Matthew Quiles wants to know, what is your religious affiliation? Uh, I don't have a, a religious affiliation, sir. Um, I believe that people are free to, to worship or not worship uh, in whichever way they choose, uh, as long as that choice uh, of worship doesn't infringe on anyone else's um, rights uh, or beliefs. Um, I'm not one of these militant atheist type people who think all Christians should be killed or quarantined or anything like that. Uh, you know, that's not, I was married in a Catholic church. Uh, you know, I went through all those Catholic merit. You know, it's not. I'm not anti. I'm not anti-church, I'm not anti-religion, I'm not anti-God, I'm not any of those things, uh, but but personally I don't have a religious affiliation. Um, I, guess, I guess that answers your questions. I, I could do probably a whole video on my feelings about religion in, in general and things like that, and if you want me to, I will, but, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it there and move on to some other questions. Uh, Tim Wilson, I have four, four questions in one. Since most American citizens are confused and do not know the difference, should we be governed by a democracy or a constitutional republic? Some say both. The two don't mix, in my opinion. Um, no, they don't mix. Uh, they're, two, they're two totally different forms of government, sir. Uh, now, the argument has been made for years and years that America is not actually a democracy, even though that's what we usually refer to it as, but that America is actually a constitutional republic. Um, as far as which one is better or not... Um, I don't feel that I'm qualified to answer that question. Um, I, I do not feel that we live in a true democracy. I will say that. Uh, I, I do feel like it's more of a constitutional republic. There, there are lots of things I would change away about the way our government operates and whether those changes would move us more towards democracy, more towards a constitutional republic, or more towards some other form of government. I don't know. Uh, I would do away with the electoral college tomorrow. I think it's a waste. I don't think we need it. Um, for national elections, I would go to popular vote. Um, that's just me. Just, that's just a few things that I can think of now. Uh, do you think the public mindset of most citizens will seal their own fate and slowly transfigure government into socialism? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think America is going to turn into a socialist country. Um, we've had socialist programs forever, um, especially uh, you know since the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, with the advent of Medicare and Social Security and Medicaid, uh, you know, we, th some of those things over time may expand. Some of those things over time may contract. Uh, but I do not think that we're going to a socialist, uh, a totally socialist philosophy or anything like that. Uh, capitalism has been proven to work. Uh, America's been around well over 200 years now. We're the longest single surviving country ever. 
uh, without any government overthrow or turmoil or invasions or anything like that. No country's lasted as long as we have, so we're doing something right. Uh, so, uh, no, I don't think we're turning into socialists. Should we do away with the two parties of government? Um, I, don't, I, I don't think we should do away with the with the two parties of government and they're not going anywhere you're always going to have the you know you're always going to have people of a conservative mindset and you're always going to have people of a liberal mindset whether you call them republicans or democrats or something else is besides the point you're always going to have those two opposing views of government um, are you a conservative idealist or a liberal idealist neither um, I, I, I agree with a lot of the liberal philosophies I also agree with a lot of the conservative philosophies I tend to be more socially liberal, uh, and I tend to be more financially conservative. Um, if you want, I could do a video where, because I know everybody thinks I'm a raging liberal. Um, that's been made abundantly clear. If you want me to, I can do a video where you know I list liberal ideas that I believe in, and then I list conservative ideas that I believe in. If you, if you want me to do something like that, I will, but... Uh, Yep, just let me know. And good morning, Mr. Wilson. That was Tim Wilson. Thank you for that question, sir. Rager, uh, Raider up 831 wants to know, who do you think is better, Michael Jordan or, Le or LeBron James? Again, I'm not qualified to answer this question. I'll freely admit that. But since you asked it, I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, I'll say Michael Jordan. Um, now, Michael Jordan was in his heyday when I was in high school. I graduated high school in 96. Uh, so you know how older people always say that the guys that that oh the guys that played when I was younger are always better than the guys that are playing now you know how you hear older people saying that so maybe that's what's happening to me I don't know uh, when I look at LeBron James I see somebody who is probably the best player in the league today uh, but I don't think he compares to Michael Jordan uh, I really don't even think it's close uh, again I could be wrong because I'm not a basketball expert so somebody can correct me if they feel like they need to um, but I, I, it seems like it seems like Michael Jordan, and I know this isn't true, but it seems like Michael Jordan never missed a shot at the end of the game when it mattered. Uh, he had a killer instinct. He, he just had a, a, some sort of switch he could flip. And I, to me, I don't see that with LeBron James, uh, the killer instinct. Uh, but I, like I said, I, I'm not a basketball expert, so I, I could be totally wrong, uh, although it's unlikely. Uh, but I have been wrong once or twice um, before. Uh, what would 